parameter programming in TPS software. Here we have our CAD system and in, uh, in this part of the screen you see the piece. You can have a three-dimensional uh, view or a box view. And here we have the working phase where we will insert our works. On the bottom side you have the, the standard dimension of the piece and the variable you can use uh, for drawing your piece and uh, then set it also in uh, in directly in the working list right now we go in the top face of the of the piece and insert our se our setup to do the squaring of this uh, piece the the first three variable uh, that all the pieces have is the LHS length height and thickness in this way I will put a setup in the zero z left lower corner of the piece and choose a tool in my database and in this way I can see my my tool then I will insert a setup line always program it in parametric way L as as the launch and uh, H zero and zero. As you see now, you can see the tool path on the on the piece. And also decide to see only the part inside the piece. Now we can also set uh, a variable can be set outside. Uh, for example, 300, and I call. I can also set a little description, like length internal profile and then we can use it in a second profile work the piece inside the other one I can take directly the point on the preview always put mean OS and half of the thickness choose for example, another two. Then I do another rectangle, but using the R variable. With the right click on the mouse, I can take the list of variables, see the, the, the description of it, and insert directly. H minus 50, so the next line will go in uh, y direction at H minus 50 millimeters, and then I close the rectangle. In this case, I can also snap one other program at point. And, and use it only for change the X axis then close the point okay in this way I do two profile in a parametric way and then if I change here my variables or my dimension all this profile will remain parametric
Okay. The parametric programming can be used also with other type of working, like uh, fitting. Okay. So for my starting point, I can use my variable r0 plus 50. The final should be l minus 50. I don't know, 80 for the y direction, minus x plus 3 for the depth, and enabling another row at h minus 80. And here is that the diameter of the tool. Now, if I change also the variable you see that uh, all the mm, all the workings I insert in this piece adapt uh, by changing dimension of the piece and uh, external variable. Now we can save the piece like uh, demo one. And we can also optimize to see if there are any error about access limit or uh, an unfitted uh, tool and so on. Now we can go directly to our working list board. This is the, the board installed directly on the machine where you can control the machine. Uh, as you see in the top uh, side of the, of the program, we have the axis of the machine. We have some messages during the, the cycle. Here there is some devices and some selector for controlling the machine. And in the lower part, you have the view of the bench with rail and pots and the list of our uh, workings. If I select the preview, I can see my pieces and uh, decide which one I want to execute on the machine. For example, for example this one is the one we uh, yet down right now so I can drag and drop in my bench the system show me the possible reference point where I can put my piece and when I leave my piece on it the system will automatically draw for example I put more than one in different place and in this way I can program my um, my list here we have the possibility to do the also the mirroring of the piece like you see this uh, the second one on the right side is uh, is normal but the first one is mirrored so I can also check this mirror flag and decide and decide in which way I want to execute my piece. Directly here now I can change the the size of my <coughs> of my piece and all the working will adapt in automatic way. In addition to changing the dimension directly in the in the list, I can al also s change the variable for each piece. For example, put 800 here, and all the profile will automatically add that. The last important things you can do in our board is
to outfit also the bench so to change the configuration of the bench in order to the piece you have to execute here we can have uh, a list of the pod so I can erase some pod to show you so right now uh, we have only one type of uh, pod but I have three more pods can be used on the badge so I, I can also drag and drop here and uh, change my uh, my bench configuration in addition I can also copy one configuration to to the other rail Co park the rail and uh, quickly see where pos where I have to position in the the pod in order that the piece will be will be blocked on the piece uh, blocked on the bench in a safety way because uh, I see the working I see where the tool uh, will go and I can put my uh, I can put my pot to be sure that the um, the piece will be easily locked and safe. The working list for sure can be saved and reopen in a second time, and I can also decide to to execute more than one piece. For example, ten of the first, five of the second, and so on. Here there are some uh, functions that can help you to focus on one specific part to make more uh, precise the position of the pod and back to the previous view. Now the operator just to run the the pro around the the list and all of the species will be executed in the in a safe way on on the machine so this is the end of uh, this first quick demo for sure the cad system and the in our board and technological configuration are more complex and there are many features more but the main purpose of this demo will be to show how easy can be the parametric programming in our system and make a safe uh, running of the program on the machine so thanks for your attention and see you on the next demo